Hey, Croatian sensation, that's my line. <laughs> that nose earring up. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. 
behind. Thank you. What'd you grab? Two waters. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Ultimate Fighting Championships. I'm John Marks, Jeff Krager, along Family Ties Production, our good friend Jess Medina on the camera. Wild man Dan Burridge is our man in the ring, our PA announcer tonight. We will bring you, try to bring you at least seven bouts. We've had a couple cancellations, a couple sh no shows, a couple, as Dan said, a couple chickens have not hatched. So three. Here it is, yep. the big night out. Just like you said, I got people backing out early already. Uh, Rick Cleave, um, obviously was uh, no show from uh, New York. Uh, we're ready to go on and uh, we're gonna do our best here. We're both kind of uh, generic this is kind of a, a new experience. Look to have a good time. Kind of a novice for both of us, but something that we can deal with. Uh, uh, we know a little wrestling, we know a little boxing. You betcha. Uh, we know very little about the martial arts, but we'll wing it. <laughs> These are incredibly talented athletes. And one thing, Jeff, that people need to know is th there might not be the blood and guts that that people thought it out to be. This is going to be so, just action. A lot of takedown, a lot of wrestling, and, and submission holes is what we're looking for. Exactly. Well, listening to Pat and uh, Mr. Hansen uh, speak on 97X, 
this morning. Um, they were talking about how it's more of a wrestling move and more of wrestling technique more than a boxing. And as you, uh, we have talked, and, and Dan had, uh, Wildman had uh, Mr. Militech on his show yesterday. That is the idea. He's been working out constantly with wrestlers and Steve Rusk, for one, the former uh, uh, Orion star and University of Illinois star, who who has been his so-called one of his sparring partners throughout uh, uh, the last couple weeks. And and that's one of the things he's concentrated on is before you get the submission hole, you take use the takedown and do your work that way. Exactly. That's the way that um, they plan on taking everybody down. That's the way to get them in the submission. The fight is not going to be won by standing toe to toe. It's going to be won on the mat. There won't be as much blood and guts is the bottom line. Exactly. This is, this exactly. is the art of, of using uh, the martial arts that you have, uh, the ability that you have, and, and so on. So uh, these are, I will run down the boxers, or excuse me, the contestants, the fighters that we have. I'm so used to doing boxing and things like that. Mark Hansen, of course, a Davenport police officer. He's 29 years old. Uh, one of the nicest guys you'll run into in a class act. Most definitely. He's. Uh, I, I met him actually for the first time on Friday morning. Uh, very nice guy, and uh, he's pretty excited, pretty nervous. He's ready to get in the ring and get this going. Yasunori Masamoto, the two-time All-Japan Full Contact Karate Champion. He will be here. And we're going to our first... Ah, Paul Wells from Moline. Paul Wells, we will have a first bout to <laughs> Paul Wells, former of Mo Paul Wells, former of Moline. We don't know who his, who his opponent will be, but uh, uh, he is expected. He, he is an alternate. Okay, so now okay, another no, change of plans. Another change of plans. We're waiting. Oh, Mark Russell wins by default. <laughs> We're okay. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Okay. <laughs> We're Paul Wells on. wins by default. Yes. And now we have, as we said, Ron Russell and Kenny Barker, who will do battle. That is the idea. That was the ultimate, the uh, first plan that we went with. Uh, the Ultimate Fighting Championships. I'm John Mark, Chef Craig along. Family Tie Production, Jess Medina. Handling things over the camera. This I've been waiting to see this, so we'll, we'll try to bring you the best action that we can. Bring it the best way we know how. And of course, the ring girls will will always gather a great deal of applause in this. Yes, uh, they will. Yes, they will. Furnished by uh, Southern Comfort. I can't say that. So far, our next one so starts with the uh, <laughs> ultimate challenge. <laughs> Kenny Barker Jr. being introduced in your corner. One of the, he's one of the uh, that made the long trip to the Quad Cities uh, from Detroit, Michigan. We'll be fighting Ronnie Russell from Pleasant Valley through Davenport, the baby face assassin. So here our first bout of the evening, Kenny Barker, Ronnie Russell, should be a wild one. This is what here we've we been waiting to see, and we have no idea what to expect. And of course, who knows how long it will last. Many the talk before the night was that the, the match may not go uh, a great deal of distance. So well, they say the average is about eight minutes. Here we go. We're about and run away. Ronnie Russell steps forward. He's in the black trunks. Oh, a single leg takedown. Going for a single leg. And of course, Russell counters. Russell turns him over, throws him on his back. Looking to a, a bit of a submission hold. Now, if he was wrestling, he'd have a pin, pin by now. <laughs> yes. As Russell missed with the single leg takedown. Of course, uh, Barker Bar threw him straight into a submission. Now, of course, a cross leg across the neck, the head, trying to push out. He's got him over. He's about to throw him on the ringside. Oh! Ronnie Russell. He's got, oh, a great headlock on the arm. And a submission and a victory. Ronnie Russell had, did not take advantage early. Flipped over uh, Mr. Barker Jr. and uh, put him in a submission hold. Ronnie Russell, after giving, shooting for the single leg, gave up the, the, the takedown and ended up on his back. 
he had him in sort of a pin move, but he went with a cross leg over the neck and had him in a, had him in a submission hold, yep. and he gave. Took in, he had, he had a uh, leg arm bar. And he left it, you know, he left, a little excited, he left before getting the interjection, you have a winner. Ronnie Russell, Ron Russell Port, Iowa. From Ple graduate of Pleasant Valley. And less than a minute, I would say. I would say definitely, <laughs> definitely. Ronnie Russell. That just shows you right there, Johnny, the, the moves and the techniques that go on. You, I mean, obviously, Mr. Barker shoots there, or Russell shoots in early. Barker gets him on his back, and then all of a scissors. sudden. Scissors. Throws the scissors around the neck, has his shoulder pinned back at an angle that he can't get away, and there you go. Yep. Obviously, uh, you're going to have a little bit better of uh, time announcing this than I will because you just recently had a wrestling match. Oh, my goodness. Look, and uh, we we'll had a good time with that. With you and I, yeah, fantastic show that you guys school. put on. Yeah, had a good time. It was fun. So we'll, we'll hold up until they... Uh, we have the bad boy, boy, bad boy Bubba, Ed McLennan, is supposed to be our second match. And of course, Michael Johnson of Aurora is supposed to be our second opponent. So uh, hopefully we will <laughs> get we both of them in the ring. Get both in the ring. So, a little confusion, nice little and early. Confusion, but yeah, but that's the way it's yeah, supposed it to be. Yeah, it makes it fun. It makes our job a little bit more interesting, that's for sure. Ed McLennan, a bad boy Bubba. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, the kid from Bettendorf, as you heard. Yes, here you know, Pat Militich will be there. Everybody, you will know by the, the roar of the crowd who his opponent is, <laughs> bad boy Bubba. Ed McLennan will soon find out by the crowd reaction, Jeff, who his opponent will be. Anytime your fighter's in trouble, I want you to throw in the towel. Got it. Okay? I don't want to have to stop the fight. Got it. Which could, could very well be the scenario with Pat Militich. Yes, Jeff. it could. Very so well. He, uh, well, the ring girl action, and then I think that the next roar of the crowd, Jeff, yes. will be for the hometown boy, Pat Militich, who everyone has come to see. Definitely a crowd favorite. He really got him on their feet when they announced his name. Of course, as she walks around the ring, she has now walked ring, around the ring longer than the first match, first match lasted. Talk, which is a, a great point on your part. So uh, we are live at the Mark of the Quad Cities. A crowd, I would say, in, in upwards of, of, of over 6,000 people. Definitely. Uh, with the ultimate fighting championships. We are brought to you by Family Ties Production and our good friend Jess Medina doing a great job. So uh, Ed McLennan is in the ring awaiting his opponent, in which we all know who it is. It's Pat Militech, who, uh, who has done more for this sport locally uh, than, than anyone after winning a championship and then coming back and, uh, and letting the, the Quad Cities know what's going on and being instrumental in, uh, in something like this taking happen. So he is, he's 28 years old. Well, he's, he's really done good for the sport, Johnny, because he, you know, he, he explains to everybody that it's not so much blood and guts and you know, the Certainly fighting and, and, and all that. It, it's more of a wrestling thing. It's where these the, the, the best show off their techniques and what they've learned and what they've worked all their life As at. we saw in the first match. Exactly. That's what we saw in the first match. Actually, we have Wells no, entering the ring. So we got oh. Wells versus McClellan. So, you know, even Dan was fooled. <laughs> See, Dan had introduced Pat Militech as our, our next. Yes, he did. But that's all right. We'll go with Paul Wells and Moline. We can adjust. Kickboxing, we can, we can adjust. Karate, taekwondo, otherwise known as the American hero. That's what we waited for. As we heard the instructions from the referee to the corner, he does not want to have to uh, to make it go too long for someone to get hurt. So uh, at the minute you see your your man in trouble, please toss in the towel and we'll, we'll save everybody some time, trouble, and effort, So, exactly. which I think is a great idea. Yes, definitely. And in the first match, I think we saw that as well. I mean, um, Mr. Barker, you know, giving up immediately. He knew that his arm was in trouble, and he was he was definitely going to break an arm. And, and of course, once a broken bone is once a broken bone has been materialized, the match is over. The neat thing about it is 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 Paul Wells is a uh, the American hero from Moline is a, a kickboxer style. So and Ed is a, a Taekwondo type guy. So we'll see what happens here. We may have two conflicting styles. We know uh, by Wells by the foot. Uh, and ankle wear that he has, he's a kickboxer. So we'll wait and see what happens. 
Ready to dance. Let's see if we can get a little bit longer time frame in the second see if match here. Last just a little bit longer. Lanky kid to Paul Wells, 6'2, over 200 pounds. Big boy, well put together, the American hero. Just like you pointed out earlier, it'll be interesting to see the contrast in styles between these two boxers because they are they are not the same. Two fighters. <laughs> two fighters. I'm sorry. Here we go. Let's dance. By both circling. A uh, little kick, the two kick box, two, two front leg kicks. Kind of testing each other out here nice and yeah, early. Another There's good a leg, front leg kick to the shoulder. Wells feels him out, a little side kick, round out, round kick. Steps forward again, and then we go to, oh, the double leg. Got him underneath. McClanahan with the, who would not be a nice yeah, throw in wrestling. It was, it was a good uh, duck and, and good recovery, Paul McClellan. I think this is the way they want to work from. Wells from his back has has, a, has sort of a neck hold. They both have little neck holds, trying to punch each other. And exactly, it looks exactly what a street fight would look exactly, like. Exactly, right yeah. exactly. It's just like a barroom fight. It's uh, with with no more technique, toe to toe. Yeah. Yeah. with a lot more technique, obviously. Wells seems to be pretty strong. It's uh, McClellan's See, now really McClellan is trying to throw uh, a choke hold right now to to make him submit. He's got the arm up underneath the shoulder. On, yep. on top of the neck and trying to force him into submission that way. Sort of like a blackout and stop all the blood flow. Oh, but Wells is good turning. Footwork, good. Nice effort on Wells' part. There he showed Wells. Well, front headlock, you can yeah. be a throw. Oh, a knee. Looking to Look throw. To take advantage. Oh, got around. See? Now it'll be a single leg. It'll be a takedown in wrestling. Yep, he's got, got a choke hold in. Choke. This could be it. There you go. That's Tapped submission. Out. McClendon with a... An over the shoulder chokehold, yep. draw him into submission, got the windpipe, drew his breath away, and of course that was the end of the match. Wells Two touches it. to the end to the map by, by Wells and, and we have an ending. In that match uh, we were informed it lasted approximately a minute and 38 seconds. Wells did a fantastic job getting out of the first Fighting move. Out of the first move. You know, and had, and he threw the knee to the to the and uh, unfortunately, McClellan, or fortunately, McClellan got around it. McClellan, McClellan him. Beat, him, beat him to the takedown exactly, to start with. Exactly. And beat him off the punch. So, uh, what a good effort on both parts. Great effort. Great match. Uh, well showed great strength. Fantastic strength. This should be. He, I looked to watch McClellan, though. He was real yeah. strong. He had great technique. Should be interesting to watch him down the line. We've here. got two matches, uh, Jeff, in less than three minutes. Exactly. So, uh, <laughs> we are joined by Jeff Craiger. I'm John Marks. We're. At the Ultimate Fighting Championships, we're at the Mark of the Quad Cities up. A nice crowd over, I would say over 6,000 is what they sold. We're looking in the neighborhood of seven. Dan the Wild Man Burridge is your ring announcer. General Manager Chris Hobart of the Quad City River Bandits is on hand. I see Chris Jeswick of uh, the Quad City Times, Steve Tappa of the Dispatch to Rock Island Argus on hand. Everybody's in the house tonight. So, Well, I don't think anybody's been disappointed so far. It's, they're no, quick sir. matches, but uh, if anybody that knew anything about the Ultimate listened about it, they knew that these matches were going to be quick. They were going to go to the mat, and uh, uh, so far, certainly, we have not been uh, denied. Certainly got everything we've asked for, even though they haven't lasted a great a lot of action. But uh, these are kind of the matches that you want. Though you need a lot of these matches. Yep. So let's take a break. We'll be back after a couple messages on Family Ties Production at the Ultimate Fighting Championships. <laughs> Welcome back 
Family Ties Production. We are at the Ultimate Fighting Championships at the Mark of the Quad Cities. I'm John Marks, Jeff Craig, along with me. Oh, the, Dav the pride of the Davenport Police Department. Mark Hansen against the All Japan Full Contact Karate Champion, Yasunori Matsumoto, as good as it gets. This is truly a super test for Mark Hansen. Exactly. Suddenly, uh, the uh, Davenport Cup becomes very popular with everybody, which I'm sure he doesn't <laughs> quite get that all the time. Uh, great, great ovation for our local hero here. Should be one that, it's, it's Mark Hansen against someone who's been at it forever. As we were talking during the break, this should be a really good match here. Yes, yes and Nori Matsumoto is a uh, All Japan full, ta full contact karate champion. He uses uh, sh Shidokin, uh karate and judo, and uh, as good as it gets in this uh, in this field. So, Definitely, especially this is uh, Mark Hansen's first uh, appearance in a ring. He's never done a heavy fight, never done any kind of box, never done a tough match, never done the ultimate. So this could be an experience for him and a He's experience thicker, for everybody. Thicker than a Whitey's mole. Yeah, I would wrestle him. Tell you. So uh, <laughs> we, this will be a lot of style and a lot of technique against someone with raw strength, willing to give it everything. So. We'll see what happens. Obviously, Mark Hansen has a, has a weight advantage, but the quickness, I would think, to Matsumoto would, and the technique would be his. Uh, yep. I'll let you pronounce uh, Mark's uh, opponent's name. Matsumoto. Yes, yeah, Matsumoto. 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 Yep. Mutai Khan Karate for uh, Jiu Jitsu for, for Mark Hansen, of course. Uh, from Palatine, Illinois, uh, Matsumoto is as good as it gets. So we'll wait and see what happens. He's one of the big names. Well, actually, I heard uh, Pat speaking earlier about. I believe that Pat has fought, uh, has fought uh, Yasumoto uh, before, and he's oh, have a tough time. Here we go. Hanson with a little front jab, jabbing away. Matsumoto. Watch, 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 watch. I'm sure. The he's got to away. Watch him. Watch him. A uh, little side kick. Right in the thigh. You know, nice, nice, good firm. We heard that over here. Yep. A little missed by Matsumoto. Don't want to take too many of those. That, that's exactly what they want to do. Hanson with a kick to the ankle. He, I think he got a piece of it in there. Yes, Hanson with a takedown. Right against the ring ropes. Everybody everybody in press row here. Everybody flinched. Hanson with a weight advantage. Pushing him. Pushing, tugging. Using leverage on him. Don't want to get. There's going to be a duck under by somebody here. Either Matsumoto is going to try to throw or Hanson is going to try to get him on his hip. Doesn't want to get the kick hold underneath. Hold him, hold him. Hanson wants to get him out in the middle and try to use the weight advantage. There we go. Knee to the middle. Good knee. knee to the groin. Knee. Hanson's Hanson. trying to uh, trying to utilize his wrestling skills here. Exactly. Here you go. See, now, sticking he with can, the rope yeah, tight. He can counter it by throwing the arms inside. Exactly. And you know in wrestling moves, once you have the arms in or half, you're better off. Yep. So Hanson we're trying to go up top. There you go. There you go. With a throw. Oh, hopefully. Got it, huh? Oh, what a, what a takedown. Oh, what a shot. Lifted him up, tucked him on, and threw him over the top. Oh, Hanson, that's what they came for. Unbelievable. Hanson Jr. Oh, punch to the back of the head. He's got him all tied up. Yes, Asimoto. 70-pound weight advantage right yeah. now for Mark Hansen. Using it. Wear him out here. He's going to try to get up underneath. You know he's running the, the uh, chin to the chest right there underneath the armpit, running the chin to the chest, trying to throw him over. Planning strategy here. Yep. You can see, you can see it in the both eyes. Ace. They're looking for a move over, and then a punch from the middle here. And now I see Matsumoto will duck under, and oh, a simple takedown. Try to fall back and stay high, just like a wrestler right in the legs. On the ring, the referee steps in to keep them from going out into the group gathered ringside. This could be a great break for If Matsumoto makes and gets out of this, oh, there we go. We have a start from up. Great effort on his part, on Matsumoto's part. Great effort on his great. part. Mark Hansen. Right here, Mark Hansen, first time in the ring. Comes in with the left early. Oh, the ring. bet him over the ring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the weight advantage. Great drive block. Here we go. There's a knee to the chest. Hansen may look for another throw here, Jeff. Yep. I might see. Over the top. And a tick. And a kill. Oh, he missed. Right over on us. Oh, the action is fast and furious. There you go. I haven't seen wrestling matches this good. Me either. This is uh, this is where Hansen needs to pop his head up, try to get chin to chin, face to face, and then punch. Yep. I think that's something that Mark needs to utilize right there. So try to throw some punches. He's getting the knee down. A little leg wrap. He's trying to get over on top. Now he's got a pound. Yep. That's what we. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Him to the head. Exactly. Him to the head. Yep. That's what we were looking for earlier. 
And Matsumoto made a great move right there, rolling to his, his chest, getting up to his knees. You can see Mark still playing on a strategy, trying to duck his head under there. Pulling the neck back, just like a wrestler, running the chin. Now we're starting to get into the point where fatigue's going to fatigue be a factor. Fatigue could set in. Good point. And Hanson is, uh, we know for a fact around the Quad Cities that he is definitely in fantastic shape training with Pat. So with Matsumoto. Matsumoto, <laughs> definitely, definitely. Uh-oh. He rolls Hanson to his back. Oh, and a chokehold. No! Matsumoto's corner, not happy with it. Hansen with this going drive. Gonna look for a throw here. He's got yeah. him on the inside shoulder. Matsumoto does a great job staying on his feet when, when Hansen oh, comes to he, he, He's outweighed by 70 pounds. Yes. A little fatigue here for Hansen set in. Yep. I believe so. I'm gonna try to bend him over and drive him again. Bend him over the rope. Oh, double kick to the groin. Hansen blocks the second one. Matsumoto using the uh, rope big time to hang on to it. Hanson on the rope. Yeah, good point. Now he's going to try to throw him again. Yep, here they come right on top. Johnny. Hanson's got the leg. Not going to pop up. Keeps his head on the inside so he doesn't lose full control. Turn his back. Got to keep driving. He's going to be called for out of bounds in just a second. Yep. Matsumoto heading toward the corner under the ring. Hanson's really, uh, you know, forced the issue in this match. Masmo's just kind of hung back and waiting for. I think you Hansen. have to when you're 70 pounds lighter. I agree Jeff. completely. He fights up. Hanson's a little tired right now. Got him. The lift and the drive. Good takedown. Great takedown. Pop the head right now. Masamoto's got the head tucked. If 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 Hanson can pop the head, there we go. Now he's going to work the face. Punch to the face. Punch to the double punch to the face. A right, a right, a left. Both fatigue, fighting. He's trying to get on top to bury him. Kick to the face. Double kick to the face. Sort of a figure four choke. Yep. Hansen gonna try to run the leg, and Matsumoto's got the knee, so this could be a... This is very interesting right here. It's a no-win situation. Yep. Sort of a figure fake. Look for yep. Hansen, Hansen getting to his knees again. Looking for him to start throwing some more punches. I think he wants to catch his breath first. Hansen on top. Referee urging play, urging contact. Oh, misses with a right, a block. Let's him up. And a kick. Back of the ring. Nice push to the corner. Hansen waiting for him to step up to drill him. Once again, like you were talking about earlier, like you hit on earlier, Hanson's uh, showing his fatigue. Um, Matsumoto. Kind, of, kind of catching his breath here. Ma Matsumoto trying to Yosemite. choke him underneath. Yep. Can't get it. Suck it up, Mark! Suck it up! There's oh, a headbutt. Great, Great headbutt. Head oh, if someone threw a knee here, I think it might do some might damage. Might be very effective. Another, Another headbutt. headbutt. And a knee kick to the, to the chest by Matsumoto. Doing a great job for being outweighed by 70 Fantastic pounds. Fantastic job. Hansen. Real patient, but extremely patient, sitting here on the ropes, waiting for a mistake oh, by Hanson. Oh, he's cranking, Hansen. he's got the head of, oh, hey. Ooh, good Punch. right, good right. And a knee kick to the another groin. Knee. Another knee kick. Hanson, another block knee kick. Mark Hanson, using, and referee tells him to get got his hands on the Got him in a chokehold underneath. Hanson's Matsumoto using his strength to break it, yep. break it open. He's got the chin tucked underneath to, to break the hold. Matsumoto still tired. I think they're both gathering a little win right now. Hanson pushing the ropes, pushing the ropes. Oh, a knee kick to the head by Matsumoto. Referee urging competition. Hanson with a single leg trying to throw him over the top. Steps over. This is where he'll try to push the head again. But Matsumoto still has the neck and the head underneath. He's got his knee wrapped as well, which is really giving Hanson a hard time so getting leverage as, on him. But as soon as Hanson can pop that head, trouble for Matsumoto. You got him. You got him. This is trouble for Hanson at the moment with the chokehold. Oh, he had to, got rid of the chokehold. Yep, there we go. Here comes a look for right and the left. You might see a forward, forward headbutt and then a right and left cross. Both, both fighters right now showing their fatigue. This match has gone on a oh. lot longer than anybody expected. They say eight minutes is the average. We have a whistle. Why the whistle? For, we must have a whistle for a delay. 
Um, your guess is as good as mine, Johnny. Signal contact. It's like a stalemate in wrestling. Here we go. We got competition. Hanson with a straight good right. right. Oh! Good right, really hurt him. My goodness. Backed him up against ropes. That's more to put the now knee, Now with the chokehold. Uh, yep. And he goes straight to the choke. Great move. He's been at this a while. Matsumoto will hold it with a chokehold. Knee kick to the chest. Hanson pinned him. him. Another knee kick to the chest. The crowd already urging Hanson on. He's got him in the middle with a oh, side kick by Hanson. Not, uh, Matsumoto's doing no damage whatsoever. None, zero. Just, uh, just and Hansen, basically what he's doing. Yep, and that's and trying to make the submission hold. Yep. And Hansen keeps pushing him all over the place. This might be a situation where Hansen might want to keep this match on the feet for a little bit longer. Wear down Yasumoto. Catch his breath. Yep. And then the I would like, I thought we'd see one more throw out of him. So did I. Another several series of knee kicks by Matsumoto. And a punch by Hansen, which he missed. Oh, it caught him with a knee. Knee to the knee. face. I think he just made Hanson mad. Yeah. I think you're right. Hanson's leaning on him. He's catching his breath right here. Yep. That's a great move. Both a little blow for both of them right here. There we go. Oh, he missed. Once again, and Yasumoto, though, using a great job using his rope, which is illegal, but he's he's getting away with it. Oh, elbow to the to the back of the head by Masamoto. Punch to the face. Another punch to the face. A series of rights to the face. I think he's starting to make Hanson mad. He threw him. Sliding to his feet. Rolling over, got the shoulder, missed. Masumoto went to, to cross over the shoulder, and Hanson has him up. Oh, a series of feet kicks to the head. Making Hanson mad, just like you said. Yeah, right, right to the right. face. Big right to the face. The referee urges more contact. What more do you want, my friend? Oh, my These goodness. These guys have had to be in the ring now probably at least, I'd say, 10 minutes. Matsumoto going for the chokehold. Han Hanson stepping Ten over. 10 minutes and 14 seconds as Ten of right now. 10 minutes and 14 seconds. Fabulous match. Unbelievable. So what everybody came to see. Elbow to the rib, cage, back of the kidneys. Three of them. Four of them. Oh, and Hanson rips up. Five. This is not all-star wrestling. No, not legit. at all. Those are legitimate. You still kind of hear the crowd counting out, count them out, though, as yep. you hit them. Matsumoto. Hanson a little tired right now. Another break, I believe, in the action. Who blew the no. whistle? No. There was a whistle blown, but we don't, we're not too sure why. Series of short jabs to Hanson. Elbow! Elbow! Corner yelling for the elbow, looking for the elbow smash. Hanson's serious. Hanson looks like he's getting his second win, looking I to throw him says, over. I believe you're right. Series of punches elbow. to the face. Elbow! Matsumoto, Hanson is tired. Elbow. He's just, he's taking a beating by getting a breath. Elbow to the forehead. Another elbow to the forehead. Punch to the face. It's amazing to see the crowd. They're all urging on Mr. Hanson. We've got nowhere to go right nowhere now. Nowhere to go for him to get up here. Series of little jabs to the forehead. I don't know how much good they're doing. From our angle, we can't really tell. We can't tell. tell, but they're making they're contact. obviously wearing they're them down. Matsumoto wins. 11 minutes in. Whale of a match. 11 minutes Somebody should get in 26 check. seconds. I hope he's all right. There you have it. Unbelievable yes, fight. Yasunori Matsumoto wins over Mark Hansen in a match that took almost 11 minutes. But on that note, we will break for a commercial. Hello, you're watching Family Ties Production, the ultimate fighting challenge at the Mark of the Quad Cities. Welcome back to the Mark of the Quad Cities, the ultimate fighting championships. I'm John Marks, Jeff Crager along with us at the Mark of the Quad Cities, a good six or seven thousand. We're talking seven grand uh, is what uh, we discussed with uh, River Bandit General Manager Chris Hobart, who's an expert on crowds himself. So 
We are talking, we are live from Mark of the Quad Cities. Pat Militich will be in the ring soon. That's who we all came to see. And he's fighting. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know if this guy's ready to take him on, but we're soon to find out. Uh, Mark Hansen, the Davenport police officer, uh, fell in his bout to uh, Yasunori Matsumoto in what was an 11-minute match. It was, seemed like an eternity. Uh, Jeff, a series of, of punches to the face uh, sort of did the trick. Exactly. I mean, uh, Yasunori, he went into the fight, pretty much had a game plan. Wear out Hansen, let him make his mistakes. I think Yasunori was uh, very good on the leg. Fantastic on the rope, and Hansen just got tired. I thought it was a case of... <laughs> Hanson staying a little, I mean, they stayed a little too long. I thought the, the match should have been ended uh, a little sooner than it was, but hence the fact Mark Hansen in his first time out was, gave an excellent job. For 11 minutes, people actually, I know he had a weight advantage, but he still had to go to the single leg and make the throw. Yeah, he, he, you know, we, like I said, we couldn't quite see the punches that were happening. I made the comment I didn't think they were being that effective, but obviously, like this, oh. they were just pointed down and it just took the toll on it. Everybody, this is what we waited for. They're, they're starting to get on their feet. Pat Milicic will be entering the ring. This is what everyone came to see. That's right. We are off a short intermission. Pat Milicic is the man from Bettendorf, Iowa, here to take care of business. This is what we all came to see. Two-time Battle of the Masters champion. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Muay Thai, boxing, and wrestling. And we know, as we talked earlier, Jeff, this is the business. He takes care of it with takedowns. Yeah. He was, he was this match immediately on the mat. And, uh, this match, I didn't expect to last too terribly long. I don't know about you. Mr. Sure. Bad Boy Bubba Ed McClendon is doesn't have a whole lot going for him when it comes to the best in the business. Yeah. This area knows. I think we're talking a little bit more experience here by Milchek. He's a very fast, very quick, great wrestler, great trainer, in fantastic shape. That Dan the Wildman Birch with the call, the Croatian sensation. Pet Militic. Now, Mr. Birch, the Wildman, jumps back to his heritage. Here we go, we're ready to box. Shouldn't be too long. I don't, get them to their feet. Get them to their I don't think this is going to last too long. I'm sorry. Mr. McLennan appears to be outclassed, but we will soon be soon find out. This is what everyone came to see. And, th of course, this will not be his. He'll win this one and go on to the uh, the finals tonight. This is who they all came to see. Pat Militich of Bettendorf. Two-time Battle of the Masters champion. Feeling Ed McLennan out. Stepping forward with a fake. McLennan circling. About to get in the corner. Side kick. Militich with a roundhouse right. Slips. Misses. McLennan misses with a front kick. Straight. Oh. And a single. Oh, and a throw. Nice takedown by Pat Militich. Could have been five points in a wrestling meet. With a pound to the head. Another forearm to the forehead. I'm being choking now. Holding. Holding at the chest. Going to work his arms. Maybe punch the face. There, no, another right to the face, left to the face. Slap to the side of the head. McClennan trying to reach over. There it is, nice for straight for him. McClennan just isn't strong enough to get him out. No, he's not even in the, he's not even in Militech's league right now. Not at all. Has no business. Soften him up. There he goes. Arm. He's done. Shouldn't be too long here. Turning the elbow, turning the wrist. It can't bend like that. As we've heard before, they're not, that's not, nope. Oh, he's gonna sit hard. Sit hard, sort of an arm bar with a crank on the bottom line. Bending it over the elbow. Actually, Pat's talking to him, saying, what do you want me to do? You don't want any more. Yeah. He doesn't want any more, he's gonna, if he moves one more, there it is, he's done. Pat Militich makes quick work of Ed McLennan. He could have. He could very well have broken it. Or had something blown over and then dropped drop down. Or went up, actually dropped down way class. Two, two front kicks, side kick, and a single leg kick. I think Militic is hanging under his hamstring. He might have been a little pull there. Simply comes in, takes care of business in about a minute and a half. There it is. Pat Militic of Bettendorf, Iowa. Two time. Battle the Master Champion, take care of his opening round match of the evening.
Well, we predicted it uh, pretty much. Uh, <laughs> that was a pretty safe. That was the safest call of the evening. <laughs> he could very well have done anything he wanted with Mr. McClendon's arm, and uh, and he did. Oh, so we will take a break. You are listening and watching live at the Market of Quad Cities, the ultimate fighting championship. We will be back in just a moment with our next bout of the evening. Welcome back to the Ultimate Fighting Championships Quad City version. We're live at the Market of Quad Cities. I'm John Marks. Jeff Crager along with us. Bout number five of the evening. Heavyweight. <laughs> it won't last long. Militants will take care of both of them. Rick Graveson of Royal Illinois. 6'1", 180. A prison guard is into the ring right now. He will take on Todd Fredrickson of Galesburg. 5'11", 190 pounds. Also a prison guard. So the battle of the correctional system <laughs> is about to take place. Fantastic artwork on the uh, on the gentleman. Words of encouragement. The penal system and its employees handling bout number five this evening. This is what you came for. Rick Grayson, Aurora, Illinois, Todd Fredrickson of Galesburg, Illinois. Nothing pretty about either one, Jeff. <laughs> Another very good call and a safe bet on that one. Graveson from Aurora got the ugly, ugly do, the ugly face. All serious about it. And of course, Todd Fredrickson. Trap fighting, wrestling, bare knuckle fighting is his specialty for Mr. Fredrickson. Hakino Judicio Airborne Combat Skills for Rick Graveson. <laughs> Two men I want handling our penal system. <laughs> the, here we go. This could be an all-out brawl. That's dance right here. Front kick. Two front kicks by Graveson. Fredrickson ties up, looking to throw. Graveson fights him off. Down, Todd. Good up on, trying sides. to make the throw. The tattooed Graveson goes to his back. Fredrickson on top, trying to hook him. Oh, oh, head butt to the forehead. Looking for the straight jump punch. Three straight punches to the face. Four straight punches to the face. Elbow, elbow, elbow. Encouragement being uh, shouted from both sides. Yeah, we got it from both sides. Give them the headsets and let them call yeah. this match for us. Graveson on the bottom, Fredrickson on top, hearing in the background, help from Todd Fredrickson who is on his back at the moment. Graveson is on the top, pounding him. Graveson have a hard time moving either way, he has no leverage. No leverage whatsoever. None. And of course you can't use the ropes. No, and of course Graveson trying to choke, got the hands underneath, taking punches to the side of the head right now. Graveson. Yep, no movement. Oh, a forehead, double forehead. Headbutt to right hand. Three straight, two straight rights, excuse me. Todd, look. Fredrickson looking for the, to, to tie up and go for the choke while Graves continues to, Graveson, excuse me, continues to punch. Fredrickson in total control. Graveson looking to flip him over, trying to use his strength. Todd Fredrickson from Galesburg, Illinois, on the bottom of the last four minutes. Excuse me, on top. Excuse me, while Graveson is trying to fight from the bottom. There we go. Good oh, move turtle. right there. Fantastic move. We, oh. A lot of, and we have a cut. We have a cut over the over the top of the forehead of Graveson. Looking to work the kidneys. I believe Graveson is cut and bleeding on Mr. Fredrickson. No, excuse me. Fredrickson oh is cut goodness. above the, yes, above the ass. A serious cut. Something we did We've not got see. blood. I think we're going to stop the match. Must have been a we headbutt that we saw. A headbutt. It's either going to declare a winner or a draw. We better check the cut. He's all right. Let him go. He's all right. Right. Fredrickson's corner howling in. He's all right. That's, that should be it. Too much blood. Oh, they're 
got a corner, let him go. Good kick by Grayson. Get on it. Oh, a straight right. Frederickson going for the double leg takedown, hooked him. Grayson has the shoulder and the arm over. Get on, get that Got him to his stomach. Frederickson has him on his stomach looking for a choke. Looking for the choke. Grayson spent a lot of time in this match on the bottom. A lot of blood in the middle of the ring. Yeah. A lot of blood. Not a good night to have a white sweater or white shirt on here, my big friend. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, we'll pull the hair. Pull him up. Oh, and a choke. So Henderson has him tucked away in a choke. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable move. Use the long the hair. hair. <laughs> pull the folding tail, and it's lights out. Get a haircut, son. Oh, they stop it then because he's outside the ring. That's right. Break for Graveson. Grayson will probably go back to another front kick. Right there, blocked. Fredrickson going for a single leg takedown. Got him, no, and it hooked. Grayson, gains control on the takedown. Laying on top, look for him to go back to that cut and try to punch that open yep. more. Try to enter there he is right him, now, yeah. trying to punch from the side. Yep, working it left, right. On top, going outside losing, the ring again. about to Here go outside the ropes. Watch for a break up. Oh, we got a break. Both of them got a break. Let's go, Todd. Go, go. You got him. You got him, Todd. You stopping? No. You ain't stopping. Kill him, Todd. Kill him. <laughs> the ring will not throw it in. Everybody. They won't throw it in. Front on it, Todd. Front kick. Left jab. Grayson, front kick. Great. Fredrickson going for the takedown. Got him on Grayson on the ropes. Oh. Got him hooked up in the ropes. Oh. He could have pulled him back. Giving actually both the sides a little bit of rest here, which I think both of them need. Fredrickson going to his corner, causing him trouble. <laughs> but they just let him. Oh, good left. Good. Uh, yeah, good. we almost got a bloodbath. Yep. Both locked up. Both trying to throw. Levering each other out. Yep. So, oh, pull the trunks. trying to hook the, hook the leg. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Punch in the kidney. And Fredericks. Oh, I pulled himself yep. right up on top. This is it. Oh, this punch is the it. forehead. Blood spewing all over the place. Oh, look, series of rights to the forehead. Yep. Left and another left. There you go. Blood everywhere. Ferguson's in big trouble here. Unless he can roll him over here real quick, this match is going to be unlike, over. Unlike uh, the fake wrestling, this is real blood. Yes, this is definitely real blood. Series of foreheads. Series of forearm smashes to the head. And I the think they've called the match. Yeah. No, they're going to check the blood. Yeah, no. Oh, he's bleeding back. Yep, they called it. That's the match. Mr. Frederickson, a bloody mess. Coming over, apologizing to his corner. I don't know why he put up a hell of an even, effort. And he dominated the match. Yes, even he though did. The, the cut would hurt him. It looked like it was one one head, but it might have went wrong with him. Actually, he applied the head button. It cut him more than it cut um, Graverson. The match stopped by blood. Your winner, Rick Graves, from Aurora, a prison guard from Aurora, Illinois. Tops Todd Fredrickson, he a broken rib, the referee just said, also suffered in the match. So uh, he probably will not be able to continue. Way great effort on both parts. Great effort, great to match. Just to continue. Yep, exactly. It was unbelievable. I think that a uh, while back, Fredrickson actually wanted to end, you know, halfway through the match. Showed his heart. And and his quarter wouldn't fight. allow it, and yeah. neither would he. So. Unbelievable. Heck of an effort on his part. Blood everywhere. Blood so let's everywhere stop and, and broken take, ribs. Ooh, let's stop and take a break. We will catch up with our next match. You are watching live at the Mark of the Quad Cities, Quad Cities Ultimate Fighting Championships. We'll be back in just a moment after word from our sponsors.
welcome back to the Ultimate Fighting Challenge <laughs> live at the Mark of the Quad Cities. Johnny Marks bringing you whatever he can. Jeff Crager along with us tonight. Dan, the wild man, Birch, handling the ring announcement. Chris Holbert, general manager. The Quad City River Bandits is along with us tonight. All the ring girls adding a little excitement. We're looking for championship round now, I believe. So Mr. Birch will let us know. We don't know who the contestants will be yet because they've had uh, injuries and people bow out. So we, and we haven't known the contestants uh, pretty much all night long. We just kind of wait to see who comes <laughs> in the ring, and that's who we call. We have seen exactly what we came to see. I agree We completely. have seen uh, great boxing, some boxing. We have seen some takedowns. Uh, we have seen punching and uh, everything that you want and some athleticism for, for 11 minutes when Mr. Hansen and uh, uh, Matsumoto, yeah, uh, Yasunori Matsumoto went at it. So here we go. Matsumoto is back in uh, for his round. Uh, about number two of the evening. If he wins, he draws $3,500. So uh, he is the one that upset, I won't say upset, but beat 260 pound Davenport police officer Mark Hansen uh, in his opening round bout at an 11 minute uh, marathon in which Jeff, you had to, it had to take something out of him. Oh, completely. I just think, you know, that Masamoto did a great job on the ropes, held him up, wore, wore down Hansen, and just won it when he got it to the mat and, and of course, got it to the floor. You, and it was a series of rights and lefts when I believe Hansen was worn out, actually, to be I, honest. I do too, completely. After great, a great effort for 10 and a half minutes, and then. Uh, and his first time ever, too, which is. You know, at least something to be said. And I think uh, one thing we need to point out, too, is that for the misconceptions that people thought that this was a barroom fight and no technique, and I think they're technique. Technique, uh, completely technique. technique. You've seen no barroom techniques whatsoever. Well, we have it's, seen blood. You have seen a lot of blood. <laughs> no, oh, we, no. see show. we also saw a great demonstration in between an intermission by yes, we did. Uh, Nick Tarpin de demonstration team from uh, Nick Tarpin School of Karate. So, wonderful evening. Great competition. So, we have uh, Yasunori Masamoto. And I believe uh, Mr. Johnson? McClellan, I believe. No, McClellan just boxed. So uh, uh, Michael Johnson of Aurora, I believe, is uh, uh, the winner. And it will take, yes, Michael Johnson of Aurora. Michael Illinois. Johnson, okay. My apologies. Either that or Kenny Barker. So I believe this is Mr. Johnson. Michael Johnson, Michael Johnson, six foot two, two hundred pounder against Yasunori Matsumoto, all Japan full contact karate champion and winner in a marathon match yes, over he did. Mark Hansen. You know, in the best, definitely by far the best match of the night. Hansen's shown great, you know, great strategy. Did a great job for his first time ever in the middle of a rank. Thirty-five hundred bones to the winner on the line. Something is at stake. Here we go. Matsumoto. In the black. Taking a series of rights and a front kick. Johnson. Oh, and then a first straight, straight front kick. Johnson trying to throw, but Matsumoto comes me through. Johnson outboxing. And then a jump kick. Taking the action to right. Matsumoto, as we said, patient. Very Took, patient. And very calm. Go. Two groin kicks right there to the midsection. Johnson trying to use the re oh straight kick into the right hand, straight foot kick into another right hand. This is the first time we've seen anything like this boxing. with the boxing, unbelievable. And he's doing it effectively. It took it away to up actually upset Mosmoto. Landing a series of right crosses, series of right. long bomb rights. We should mention they had to stun Masamoto both times that he and got. Masamoto has blood coming from the nose and I believe the upper right eye. Oh, a foot kick, side kick to the forehead, and then a right miss with a right. Masamoto just kind of taking it, just waiting for his waiting for his uh, opportunity to shoot the legs and possibly go on top of Johnson. I think Jans Johnson again is trying to shoot underneath after going to the head, then he'll duck under and try to take a couple shots. Exactly. To put him on his back. Body Ooh, shot by jab. Johnson. He must have seen Another something. Another left jab. And, uh, oh, groin kick. Two groin kicks by Masamoto. Johnson may be looking for a second win here after the barrage that he put on in the first yeah, he's 30 tired. seconds. Masamoto blood spewing from his nose. Johnson switches from south ball to right hand. Little jab with the left and then a round kick. Blocked though. Blocked never reached the top of the head. Got the crowd excited though. Yeah, oh, of course. <laughs> Matsumoto blocked. Right, blocked another right, right left. left. Led with the left. That hurt. Oh, front kick by Masamoto. Caught the inside of the knee. Another one. Oh, and a left. Very Johnson. unusual technique we've oh, got here. Bombing Very. away. Bombing away. Johnson landing several right. Another right to the back of the head. 
Oh, oh another, another, another right. right. Cross. And then a front kick to the chest, Jeff. Then he throws him, turns him to the ropes. Most of all, it just looks like he's just staying calm, staying patient. Well, he's, he's definitely taking, taking he's a beating. Shot after no shot. No question after about shot. it. His nose, yeah, he's taking yeah. serious shots to his nose. Uh, we are live at the Mark of the Quad Cities. Hands up. Michael Hands Johnson. Yes, yes, uh, Matsumoto. It's more Johnson Hands punches up. to the right. Hands up. Oh, another right to the top of the forehead. Johnson Definitely tiring throws a, bit. a good right. He's switching from southpaw to left right, hand, yep. or from right to excuse me, right hand to southpaw. Wait for Matsumoto to make a move. I don't know what he's he's waiting to go down low or what he's exactly. He's got no is. no rhythm in a front kick. Nope. There it is. Oh, another right and a left. Bomb after bomb. Underneath. Another, Ooh, another right uppercut. Johnson, oh, hit him with another uppercut. Matsumoto trying to tie up after taking the shots to the face. Right now we're doing a Lonnie Horn uh, Camacho Great fight, actually. <laughs> oh, <laughs> groin kick. Ground. Oh, another oh, knee groin kick, double by Johnson. And the referee yells encouragement to, to pick up the pace. Oh, straight right, front kick. A little grabbing, trying to hang on, feel each other out on the ropes. A little delay of action, both both fighters trying to get their win again. Waiting to see what happens with what Matsumoto's uh, strategy is. Oh, good oh, right nice, hand. nice overhand Johnson right by Matsumoto. It. Dropped his hands, got a yep. nice shot to the chin. <laughs> oh, here we go, trying Johnson to get to the going for ground. a single leg, couldn't, yeah. Couldn't, couldn't grab it. Matsumoto not giving it up. Just waiting for someone to tire, I believe. Yep. So who's going to make the mistake first, it looks like. Both fighters are definitely willing and, and can, you know, capitalize on the mistake immediately. Yep. I think they're both tired quite yep. a bit. Hands up, hands up. Ooh, right Good bomb. Right. No, I missed with the second one. Johnson is tired. Matsumoto. Oh, straight right. Johnson with the duck under. Michael Johnson. Yasumoro Matsum Yasumori, excuse me, Matsumoto. Matsumoto, this is uh, pretty much a clone of the first fight he had with Mr. Hanson. Just kind of weared him down, took his shots, and uh, waited for a mistake. We are live at the Mark of the Quad Cities. The ultimate, Quad Cities Ultimate Fighting Championship. This crowd of us 7,000 enjoy, enjoying it all. Blood dripping from the nose of Matsumoto. Johnson, after fighting, going upstairs, boxing most of the first part of this match. Now goes single leg, double leg, got him on the ropes. Can't throw. Once again, $3,500 going to the winner of this bout. $300 for this runner up. Johnson, look for Johnson to try to work the midsection here. Ooh. Ooh. Good knee kick straight to the forehead of Johnson's. Oh, and oh, Johnson, knee kick to the right chin. Back. And another, another one. And another. Working him over in the corner after taking a, a solid knee kick to the forehead. Johnson, ooh, I thought we were going to have a throw. Ooh, groin kick by Matsumoto. Johnson driving for the takedown. Got him hooked up. Referee just waiting, waiting for them to roll over. I don't think, I don't think he'll call it off nope, the rope. Not right now. They're working him. Matsumoto, oh, he's got the choke by Johnson over the mids. This could be a stalemate for a few minutes yes, here. Yes, it could. He's, Johnson going for the choke. Matsumoto fighting it off, chin down, tight to the chest. Then he rolls back over the top. There's a, oh, oh underneath he's him, he's up got in the middle. Watch, watch. Matsumoto looking for some leverage to break the choke, which he got. But he doesn't have the choke all the way in. Still got the choke applied. Hasn't got it locked yet. Johnson dominating the match, much the way Mark Hansen did until late in the match when he ran out of gas. Yep. There's Johnson trying to run the chin, run the elbow up underneath the chin to get on the windpipe. He's not quite there just yet. He's looking to slide underneath, waiting for Mosmo to get tired, and then that way he can slip it up underneath. Another active match. Oh, switch! Matsumoto two point reversal. Now look, look for him to start punching the face, just like he did Hanson. Slapping. There it is. Taking charge of the bout. Oh. Out of the bounds. Crowd doesn't like it. Johnson did the right thing. He slid out of bounds. Exactly. He took advantage of the of the you bet he did. instead of having a cage. That's what the difference is. Everybody booed, but he's still in a match. Yep, that's right. Johnson going for a single leg takedown. Working, oh, and a straight right. Good right. Left. Oh, don't oh. want to get a ma boxing match. Straight front kick by Johnson. 
Jonathan once again showing boxing skills. Del Samoto, when he gets him on the mat, is doing a good job with the wrestling skills. I think he definitely has advantage over Johnson when they get on the road, on their mat. Michael Johnson, yes, Inori Matsumoto. Johnson in the blue trunks. Matsumoto wearing the, the black trunks with the red stripe. Oh, got him choked, choked in the middle of the rope. In the corner, Matsumoto's corner. Upset that he slipped through the ropes to Johnson. Matsumoto had the choke in. Had him all locked yep. up. Johnson did the right thing, though. Got away with it by holding on to the rope. Single leg. Matsumoto will not give up. Knee kicks. Right to the abdomen. Oh, working it hard. Johnson's out of gas. Yep, Johnson Johnson looks like he's there it is. completely fatigued right now. This is how you put him away right here. Yep. Series of rights. Well, Samoto is just... And a forearm. The referee, the referee right looking over to no so Johnson's right corner, cross. looking, waiting for him to throw on the towel. Nope. Trying to fight out. Matsumoto, series right jab. Over the top. Another one. Series of right crosses. Knee kick. Johnson doesn't know where he is at the no, moment. No, he has no idea where he's Matsumoto, at, and he's oh. just out of gas. This is throw in the no, towel. No, I don't think they're going to. He's out. He's out. Matsumoto with a win. Johnson doesn't know where he is at the moment. No, he has no idea, Ned. Matsumoto certainly the crowd favorite. After he can take a beating. It's unbelievable. Oh. An incredible courage after getting his mouth broken nights from early in the round. Unbelievable. Johnson out on his feet. What a comeback. Matsumoto down clearly early in the match. The much the same way he was with uh, Mark Hansen. Great shape. On his way back. Fantastic, fantastic patience on his behalf. That's all he did was just patience. waiting for Johnson to, to get points. tired. And uh, just took advantage of it immediately. $3,500 from Mr. Yasunori Yasunori Matsumoto. Suddenly the turned, like I said, to a crowd favorite immediately. The All Japan Full Contact Karate Champion. Takes Michael Johnson of Aurora out late in the match. What a match. Johnson dominated 90% of that match. What, uh, Michael Johnson still on the uh, Paramedics tending to him at the moment. Yasumoto wins $3,500. We're at the ultimate fighting championships at the Mark of the Quad Cities. Another great match. Michael Johnson is okay. He does he, have his wits about him. Oh, major, major, major comeback by, Mas by Masamoto. Unbelievable. So, on that note, we will take a break. We will come back with our next bout after these words from our sponsors. Welcome back to the Mark of the Quad Cities, the Quad Cities Ultimate Fighting Championship. Here it is, Pat Militic, uh, Bettendorf, excuse me, Bettendorf, Iowa, against Rick Graveson, the prison guard, the penal system representative of Aurora, Illinois. Graveson won a match over Todd Fredrickson of Galesburg in his first bout of the evening, uh, basically because Fredrickson suffered a cut over his eye and, uh, and couldn't continue. Couldn't see. Militic beat Ed McLennan uh, and, and short, took short work and, and took care of him. So here, this is what we all came to see. Pat Militic make short work of this, win his 3500 bucks and go home and make everybody happy. Exactly. Without too many marks or bruises on him, work about a minute and uh, make about $3,500. That ain't too bad. Here he comes, Yasuno Masamoto, the winner of our last championship and a great match over Michael Johnson. This is what everybody came to see. Pat Militic, Bettendorf's own. Our ambassador to the Ultimate Fighting Championships. <laughs> that is uh, made, definitely made Ultimate Fighting uh, very popular in the Quad Cities because of him. He's one of the best. He's definitely a world contender. Uh, As evidenced by 7,000 people in the market exactly, of the Quad Cities. Exactly. So what a great night. We are. This is what we came. I don't think this is going to last that long. Actually, I heard uh, during the break that Pat beat this guy 29 seconds in the, in the matchup in Chicago. So we'll wait to see what happens And it here. took him uh, 14 minutes to beat uh, Matsumoto and had to dislocate his shoulder to win it. So, and Matsumoto wrestled 
or fought, excuse me, the last five minutes of that match with the dislocated shoulder. So I don't see Mr. Graveson uh, as tough as he is staying too long with Mr. Militich, so, which is nice. That's what we all came to exactly, see. Exactly, exactly. Mr. Graveson has definitely has fine uh, artwork on his back, on his on his chest, on his leg. He is decorated. He is decorated very, very, very and he uh, is ugly. Toe, I should say. He yes. is but <laughs> ugly. <laughs> He wins the award for one of the ugliest guys in the ring tonight. And probably the worst haircut. Yeah, out of, without a doubt. We can say that, though, because we're here and he's, he's in there. there. And while we're not afraid of him here. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Pat Militech will be coming, entering the ring in just a moment. The crowd is on his feet. Much the same it was, same way it was when Lonnie Hornfart, Hector Macho Camacho. There it is. Now the crowd this rises is to the feet. 7,000 people standing waiting for the entrance of Pat. Dan the Wild Man Birch will introduce him in just a moment. The Croatian sensation, <laughs> Pat Militic. There he comes, fighting out of Nick Tarford's school from Ben North Iowa. This is who we came to see, fans. The crowd will handle the roar. Very businesslike, got his game face on, wants to take care of business quickly, short, sweet, collect his $3,500 to say thank you, Quad City. Mr. Graveson is totally outmatched. I, I agree with you. I'm sorry about that. Graveson was outmatched in his first one. He just rolled him over, got a good head, uh, good cut on the uh, on uh, Mr. Fredrickson, and it was all over. Dan, the wild man, Birch, bringing the introductions. Rick Graveson, a prison guard out of Aurora, Illinois. Both fake, high, straight kicks. Militich with a single leg, on to his back. Grayson on the ropes. Graveson falls underneath the rope early. Good stretch on his behalf. Didn't get away with the Great single leg, leg take down. Unbelievable. Working with Steve Rusk and the boys. Single leg, oh, nice side kick. Militich steps back, picks up, reads the kick. Uh, front kick by Graveson. Graveson is going to the well with the front kick. It's going to. But he gives up that knee, and there he's on his back. Militich got him in front, blocking. Set, set up to uh, go to a front punch. Graveson countered with uh, with locking up uh, uh, the chest. Now trying to punch Militich. Nah, this is what. Got his head loose. This is what he wants right here. May step over. Graveson trying to oh, uh, show Cole, left. but a good left. Straight left and then a left by Graveson. <laughs> nice straight right by Graveson to the forehead. <laughs> Pat pulling on the trunks, trying to get some leverage on him. Look Graveson. for him, maybe step over, throw him. Sort of like a crab move. Actually, Graves is not in a, in a terrible position, it may look like, but he's actually got some pretty good leverage, had some pretty good leverage. Now he's dropping back to, maybe to punch, oh, stepping through. Looking for maybe figure four here. Graves got there one foot, there we got go. Got the foot loose, now he's got there leverage. we go. Take him either way he wants here, yep. Pat Militech. Make, make the wishbone. There it is, going for the choke and the cover. Yeah. Right here, gonna run, run the arm underneath. Get to the choke. Yep, now he's gonna, oh. There it is, there it is. There he's got him locked up. Got him locked up, match! Militich wins! Unbelievable. Militich wins! Fantastic move, it's amazing to see how he could, he leads into that choke hold. Got him over to the choke and had him out. he got it. Mr. Graveson, Your winner, out. Pat Militich. Bettendorf's Pat Militich. Graveson, caught with the choke hold, cut the air to the windpipe off, and finished less than two minutes. $3,500, Pat gets a take home. Fantastic match. I think it's more than that. I think Pat Militich wanted to bring his sport to the Quad Cities. Exactly, exactly, and, and he showed it off very, very well. All right, fans, you, you have it. Pat Militich, your winner in less than two minutes, raised on his arms, the king of ultimate fighting in the Quad Cities. You've been watching the ultimate fighting challenge of friendly ties.
Productions. Excuse me, Family Ties Production. Jess, we can cut that out. Family <laughs> Ties Production brought to you live at the Market of Quad Cities Saturday night. Pat Militich is your winner.